Consciousness-based education or mindful education is education that is holistic. It looks at a human being as a whole person, um, not just an intellect only like um, to learn how to do an equation or to learn like um, uh, some aspects of science or engineering or something like that and write exams. A human being has uh, a body, we have uh, feelings, we have an ego, we have a mind, we have senses like sight and hearing and everything else. Uh, we have consciousness at the deepest level of our minds. And um, so we have all these different levels and layers of, of what makes a human being. And uh, consciousness-based education would be education that really develops all those different layers of the human being. In this model, it says that every human being is a genius waiting to happen, that everybody has got enormous untapped latent potential. So scientists for over 100 years have been saying that the average human being is using less than 5% or 10% of their mental potential. That means like a very, very small percentage of their brain connections are kind of integrated and firing. And so it, it, it means that a company is not getting the full value out of their human assets. So if, if a company could develop the full potential of their people, then their bottom line would grow, their revenue would grow, their innovation would grow, their competitiveness, their flexibility, adaptability on every level, happiness inside the company, less sickness, less sick leave, all of that would change. And in fact, research has shown this. And at a societal level, a society is made up of its individual. Any educational component, if you break it down, it's really about three things. It's about what you want the person to learn and to be able to do. So the kind of competency and uh, what the person should do. So if I train you in, um, in artificial intelligence or I train you in, uh, uh, in an Excel, how to design a complex Excel model or something like that, then there's the kind of skill or the content that I want you to master. And I want you to be able to use that skill or that competency to make my company better, um, to solve problems in my company and, 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 and so on. But then, then there is the process of how you teach the person that skill or that content. We call that the process of learning. So the process of learning, you want it to be the most efficient possible that the individual can learn in the fastest possible way have the best retention of that information and for that information to be most useful and most alive. Um, so whether you're teaching that person through a live trainer or online or flipped classroom methodology or using a robot or however you're gonna teach that person. But then the third aspect of that training or that education is the person themselves. And the person themselves is the person who's gonna either be able to build that model like again at this level or at this level or at this level, because one person might have Excel skills um, and another person might have Excel skills, but one will be able to create a budget that can create a billion dollars of wealth. Another person can't create anything. You know, one person can use that machine learning and they can develop, you know, Google. Another person can have that same training and they don't generate anything. And so it is just as important to develop the person and their creativity, their entrepreneurial ability, um, their ability to solve problems, etc., as it is to teach them the skill or competency and to do that in the most efficient ways. The problem is, is that teachers are being trained in a system that is old. And it's not that that system is all wrong because there's parts of that system that are very good. I mean, you still have to learn mathematics, you still have to learn English, you still have to learn um, Spanish, you still have to learn science and engineering and computers and everything else. But generally because those teachers went through a certain kind of old fashioned system and they were trained to teach in an old fashioned system by an old fashioned teacher training college, they will continue that legacy. But the problem is, is that when technology is going at a very fast pace in any era of humankind and education and teacher training is not keeping pace with that, you get a very big gap 
And that gap creates societal pain. And in our case, it's going to create enormous societal pain, and it is increasingly, because only those people who are lucky enough to understand the latest technologies and leverage those latest technologies are really able to create enormous wealth and become very successful. And I would completely modernize the education system. I would make it more competencies-based and less about content. So it would be more multidimensional. So I wouldn't only focus on teaching a, a student content in order to go write an exam that is just more examination-based and memorization-based. I would base it much more on developing um, uh, so, uh, you, you know, the different dimensions of what education should be when knowledge is one of that, but then also things like creativity, problem solving ability, uh, and uh, ability to work with other people, ability, ability to use technology, to understand data, to draw insights, um, etc. I would, I would bring, I would build a more entrepreneurial culture. So I would develop entrepreneurial mindsets um, from the youngest ages of your school system, start to teach children through play-based learning and project-based learning. So I would, I would bring different types of pedagogical approaches into the teaching um, so that young people are going to be more involved in solving problems themselves rather than just teachers telling them the answers. So at the moment, the teacher tells you the answer. The teacher is like uh, a god or an angel. You know, you must memorize what the teacher says and you must answer what the teacher says. You don't have to think for yourself. So it's very, very important to teach from a young age how to think through solving problems yourself. Thank you.